Hey, I'm Burke, and this is Grover. Hi, Grover. Say hi, Grover. And today we're going to take a look at how to deploy an application in under two ish minutes with the new Azure App Service tools for Visual Studio Code. So let's go. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Bye, Grovey. All right, I've got a simple Express app here, and the only thing that's different about this app, other than being a directly out of the box Express app, is that I've added a picture of Grover, because every Express app needs a picture of Grover. So let's go ahead and deploy this to App Service using the Azure App Service Tools extension in VS Code. Over in VS Code here, you'll just search for the Azure App Service Tools extension right here, Azure App Service Tools, and you can install that. And then when you do that, you're gonna get an Azure App Service section over here. And this will show you all your subscriptions once you log in. So if I expand this, it'll show me all of the sites that I currently have. Uh, I need to create a new site here, so let's do that. Uh, I'll select the subscription here, and then it'll ask me to select which resource group the web app's gonna be created in. So we'll select uh, any of these. I can create a new one. I'll just select an existing East US, and then it wants to know which app service plan I'm gonna put this on. Let's just go ahead and create a new service plan so you can see how this works. So we'll enter the new name of the service plan. I'll just call it uh, Linux Service Plan. So I'll just choose the standard right here uh, and we'll call it My uh, Express App. Uh, looks good to me. Okay, so, and then we can choose our, our node runtime here. So we'll just choose uh, 8.1, uh, which is the latest version, I believe. And then it's gonna create our new app service plan, Linux service plan. Then it's gonna create our website in Azure. So all that's happening right now. And I'm gonna speed up through some of this so we don't have to watch the command line. All right, so our web app has been created and we're now ready to deploy. So if we go back over here to my subscription and expand this, we'll now see this site underneath my subscription. It's right here. So if we wanted to deploy this app, really all we have to do is right click it and say deploy zip to web package. All right, so our deployment is completed. Let's go look at the app. Um, I can just right click on the app and say browse website and it'll open a browser. Cool, so our website's been deployed to Azure. It was that easy and you never have to leave VS Code, which is awesome. Right, Grammy?